Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that we are meeting, welcome. I'm Christine. In today's video, I will be sharing with you what I pack my two boys for their school lunches. Before we get started, if you have watched my videos before and you do enjoy them, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me and my channel to grow. Today is Monday. Let me show you what the boys are having for lunch. We have some ham and cheese French toast roll-ups. I had some tetrazzini bread in the freezer that I wanted to use up. I did buy the bread from Real Canadian Superstore. It is a President's Choice product. All it is is some long, thin slices of crustless bread. You can get it in white or whole wheat, and this is white bread so I just cut it down to size rolled it out thin and then spread some honey mustard on it and then some ham and shredded cheese rolled them up dipped them in a an egg custard and fried them just like you would um, French toast but there's no vanilla or sugar in this it's just seasoned with salt and pepper Xander also has a mix of grape tomatoes and cucumbers with some hummus for dipping a mix of pear slices and raspberries and for a sweet treat he does have a pineapple crisp i had some canned pineapples in the pantry that i wanted to use up and thought this would be a great way to do that merrick also has the same ham and cheese roll-ups with some sliced cucumbers and hummus honestly i'm not sure if he's going to eat the hummus i know he likes it but i don't know if he will use it merrick also has the same fruit mix as Xander and the same sweet treat as well. And in their bottles, they have water. All right, guys, that is what the kiddos are having for lunch today. I will see you this afternoon. Hey guys, we are home. So let's take a look and see how the boys did. We'll start over here with Merrick. Merrick ate his cucumbers. He ate his pears and raspberries. He did not use this hummus, so I'm just going to throw that back into the fridge. He ate all of his pineapple crisp. And he ate his ham and cheese roll-ups. Let's see how Xander did. Xander ate his pears and raspberries. He also ate his cucumbers and grape tomatoes. I don't see his hummus in here, so he ate that. He did not eat his pineapple crisp. I'm surprised by that. And he also ate all of his ham and cheese roll-ups. So I'm just gonna throw that pineapple crisp into the fridge. I'm sure Merrick will eat it. It was pretty tasty. I had some of it last night and I really enjoyed it. So did Brad. Um. Xander's water bottle is full and Merrick's is pretty much full as well. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday and both boys are having a hot lunch in Xander's thermos is something you guys have seen a hundred times. This is his favorite skillet gnocchi. He does have some ketchup for dipping. He also has some seedless green grapes two dill pickles and here we have an apple raisin muffin. I had a jar of applesauce in the fridge that was about to expire so I needed to use it up. This recipe is egg free and dairy free as well. Um, it is an apple raisin muffin. It is delicious. It's a little more dense than your regular muffin but the flavor is spot on. I will link the recipe down below in the event that um, someone is looking for a dairy and egg free muffin recipe. This one is a good one. And he is also having a cheese string. In Merrick's thermos, he does have three chicken taquitos. I did have to bend the tops a little bit so that it would fit in the thermos. He also has some seedless green grapes with two dill pickles and the same apple raisin muffin as Xander. And he has a turkey puffs and cheddar pack. And in their bottles, they have water. All right, guys, that's what the boys will be eating for lunch today. I will see you after school. All right, guys, let's see how the boys did today. Xander ate all of his gnocchi. He ate his green grapes, his dill pickles. 
Um, I do not see his cheese string in here, so he must have eaten that. And he also ate his uh, muffin. Merrick ate his taquitos. He did not eat his dill pickles. It looks like he ate part of one. He ate his muffin. I don't see his turkey, pepperoni, and cheddar pack, so he must have eaten that. And he ate his green grapes. Merrick's water bottle is full and Xander's is empty. All right, my loves, that is all for today. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday. Xander is having school lunch. They are bringing in Subway, so all he needed were his snacks. So here we have some sliced cucumbers and grape tomatoes with some hummus, some sliced strawberries, and for a sweet treat, he does have a lemon-flavored fiber one bar. Merrick is having a hot lunch in his thermos. I will be placing some of this beef stroganoff. We had this for dinner last night. It was really good and Merrick really enjoyed it. This recipe is from Michaela Thomas's cookbook. They are uh, low calorie, macro friendly um, recipes. I will link um, her website down in the description box for anyone that is interested. Merrick also has some sliced cucumbers with some sliced strawberries and the same lemon flavored fiber one bar as Xander. In their bottles is water. All right, guys, that's what the boys are having for lunch today. I will see you after school. Have a great day. All right, we are home from school, so let's see how the boys did today. Xander did not eat his hummus or his veggies or his strawberries, but he ate his fiber one bar. Merrick ate all of his beef stroganoff. He ate his veggies, his strawberries, and he also ate his fiber one bar. Merrick's water bottle is just about empty and so is Xander's. All right guys, that is going to do it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday. Xander is having two grilled pizza sandwiches. So it's just basically a grilled cheese with some pizza sauce. I did use some shredded mozzarella um, just so that it melted more evenly and easily than like a cheese slice would have. So Xander has two of these and he usually likes to dip his cheese pizza in some ranch dip. We had some leftover in the fridge so I thought I would include one of those. He also has his fruits and veggies from yesterday's lunch. I know he likes these. He probably didn't open his lunch bag really because he had Subway yesterday, so I'm just throwing them back into his lunch today, and I'm sure they will get eaten. He does have some hummus to go along with his veggies, and for a sweet treat, he does have a um, apple raisin muffin. Merrick also has a pizza grilled cheese, but on here we do have three different salamis. So there's a Genoa salami, there's a hot salami, and I'm not sure what the third one is. He also has some pizza sauce and shredded mozzarella on there. Merrick, I'm sure as you guys have noticed if you've been watching me for a while, is not a big sauce guy. He doesn't like dips. Occasionally he will put a like sriracha sauce or something like that on his food, but very seldom. He also has some sliced cucumbers. He has a mix of pears and raspberries and the same apple raisin muffin as Xander. And in their bottles is water. That's what the boys are having for lunch today. I will see you this afternoon. All right, friends, we are home. So let's take a look inside the boys' lunch bags. I do have to mention that I did send the wrong lunch with the wrong kid today. So Xander had Merrick's lunch and Merrick had Xander's lunch. Um, I have made this mistake once before. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, but today, um, there were their sandwiches, like Merrick had the pizza sandwich with salami and some of it was quite spicy. And as you guys know, um, that's not what Xander's into. And so, um, he did not eat the sandwich. He already told me that. So let's see um, how, what else he ate. So he did eat his muffin. He ate the cucumbers, 
the pear slices and raspberries and as you guys can see he did not eat the sandwich so I'm just going to put that in the fridge it's still cold so um, and it'll get eaten at another time I don't want to throw out the entire sandwich it seems very wasteful to do that anyways um, let's see how Merrick did Merrick did not eat his fruit or his veggies um, and he's not a dip guy so he did not eat either of those they will go back in the fridge he did eat his muffin and he ate both of the um, grilled cheese pizza san sandwiches. Merrick did request that I only send him like the main course to school. He does not want snacks or fruits and um, he said no veggies. I don't know how I feel about that. He's going to have to at least have some veggies I think but if he doesn't want like a sweet treat or a snack then you know he's old enough to decide that for himself I guess so um, I'm going to um, I'm going to fulfill his request I guess and see how it goes we do eat vegetables with dinner and um, but to me that just doesn't feel like it's enough you know it's not enough fruit or veggies but I'll just have to give it some thought uh, Merrick's water bottle is empty and Xander's is full. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today. I will see you in the morning. Have a good night. Good morning, friends. Today is Friday and the boys are having sandwiches. Xander is having a tuna melt sandwich on whole wheat. I make my tuna by um, adding some celery and dill pickles, some chopped celery, dill pickles, and onions. I then add some mayonnaise and I season it with salt and dill. Xander also has a mandarin. He has some sliced cucumbers and grape tomatoes and a lemon flavored fiber one bar. I'm not sure how much of this he's actually going to eat. He does have like a school project that starts just after lunch. So I will be meeting him at the school with some supplies that he needs, so I'm not sure if he's gonna have time to eat everything. Merrick is having just a sandwich. He said he doesn't feel hungry and that the food I was packing him was too much, so he has a tuna melt with lots of spinach and tomatoes on top. So I don't know, this is what I'm packing for him today. We'll see if um, he gets hungry at all because I don't see how a sandwich is going to keep him full all day, but I could be wrong. Anyways, in their bottles is water. So um, from this point forward, I guess you will be seeing a lot more hot lunches for Merrick. I'm going to try to incorporate lots of veggies and a carb and a protein for him just to keep him full during the day and uh, still kind of send up with a nutritious nutritious balanced lunch all right so that is what the boys are having for lunch today i will see you after school to show you how they did have a great day all right guys it is saturday morning so it is the next day merrick went out for a burger with some of his friends after school on friday and did get home until later and by that point i had spent all day studying for my personal trainer exam and um, I was tired, I was in relaxation mode, and so um, I waited until this morning to film. Uh, I did write my exam this morning at 8 a.m. and I passed, and so I am now a certified personal trainer, yay! Um, so let's take a look and see how the boys did. So Xander ate his sandwich and um, his uh, tuna melt sandwich, but he did not eat his mandarin. He ate his fiber one bar and he ate his veggies. Now Merrick, all he had was a sandwich, so he, he ate it. Um, I mean, there wasn't much food there. I did talk with Merrick and explain the importance of food. He is um, going to be 15. Uh, so he is a growing boy. He's already 5'10", so he's quite tall, he's quite slim, and he wants to start working out. And so he needs calories. He needs food um, in order to grow muscles, in order to just function, really. 
Um, I'm not too concerned at this point. I mean, he eats a big breakfast. We have a large dinner. He does have a protein bar when he gets home from school, but it is something I'm going to keep my eye on. I don't know if it's, you know, just out of convenience that he wants less food because he doesn't have much time to eat and his friends just take a main with them for school. So, um, like I said, we had the discussion. I know the importance of nutrition, but he is getting older. Um, so I know I'm his mom and I still need to, uh, mentor him and guide him. Uh, so that's what we are going to do. Um, that kind of brings me to, uh, something else. Um, the boys are getting older. They are old enough to pack their own lunches. And so I am going to hand that off to them. Um, so that they can start packing their own lunches. So I don't know how many more lunch videos, sadly, how many more lunch videos I'm going to be making. Um, next year, America's going to be in high school and he really does need to start making his own lunches. So, um, which is why, you know, in last week's uh, video, I did ask if there's any other type of content that you guys would like to see. I used to do the grocery videos, but every time I posted them, I would lose subscribers. And so... I'm thinking you guys really aren't interested in that type of content and um, dinners. We really do try to keep it simple here. The simpler, the better, the cleaner, the better. Um, so I don't know if that's worth uh, sharing with you guys. I can certainly share with you what I eat in a day if you're interested in that. I can share more fitness content with you guys if you're interested in that or maybe just start a new channel uh, with fitness content and what I eat in a day and tips and all that kind of stuff. Um, cause some of you might not be interested in seeing any of that kind of stuff, but, um, just let me don't, just let me know down in the comments if there's anything else that you would like to see. Um, I do love all of you guys. I thank you so, so much for all of your support over the past few years, um, some of you guys have been watching from the very beginning. You guys are so encouraging. You always leave such lovely messages for me down in the comments. And I really do appreciate each and every one of them. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And um, uh, hopefully I will see you next week. And uh, until then, guys, take care. Bye.